Sweden is a dream country for many, but for some it's just not meant to be. So in this video I wanted to talk about a little bit about details, who could be the right candidate for Sweden, who would enjoy moving to and living in Sweden, and who might not be happy in Sweden. Let's find out. Hello and welcome to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Yuli. I'm from Germany. I moved here about one year and four months ago with my British partner from London, UK, with our four-year-old daughter and now we also have a seven months old daughter that makes us a family of four and i'm documenting here a little bit our lives our opinions our experiences living here in sweden just outside of stockholm so if you're interested in following along make sure to subscribe <music> so i'm going to mention basically the type of people who would enjoy moving to and living here in sweden but that doesn't mean that other personalities or other people would not enjoy living here it's just me thinking who would be happy here in sweden so the first reason or type of personality why someone would really love living here in sweden are the outdoors and i know this might be quite obvious but I think is one of the biggest reasons why people might consider moving here as well. Sweden has such amazing landscapes. It's quite a big country. So there are different areas to explore. You have the south with some beaches and the weather is milder. Then you have around Stockholm, the cities or different cities in Stockholm. And then you have the north with the northern lights, the snow. And, you know, it's just a very different part compared to the south. So there's a lot to explore and definitely a lot to explore outdoors. And I find even if we're living, well, outside of Stockholm or even if you look at Stockholm, I find the city much more outdoorsy than other cities. If I compare it to London, for example, or even Munich, within the city, you have a lot of like little lakes or you have the sea, obviously. So you have beaches, you have even forests in Stockholm and uh, parks. So there are a lot of areas where you can spend time outside, even if you just want to go for a job, but you can do it in a forest, which is really cool. So on a day to day basis, you have the outdoors, but also if you want to do hikes or if you want to go camping, you know, you have all these opportunities here in Sweden. If you are the type of person who enjoys the seasons, like obviously summer, but then you have also autumn, winter and spring. And if you enjoy also autumn and winter a lot, I think Sweden could be really good for you. It's a bit similar to what I just said about the outdoors. But obviously, for example, if you live in Australia, you can enjoy the outdoors as well. So it's kind of a specific way of outdoor you have here, if that makes sense. But basically, you can spend a lot of time outdoors if you also enjoy the seasons. And yeah, here in Sweden, you have all the proper seasons and maybe winter or autumn winter combination might be a bit longer than in other countries. But if you're okay with that, I think you have a good time here in Sweden. I have mentioned it before in one or two of my videos, but I used to live in Singapore for a year. And really after that, I was appreciating the seasons so much more. At the moment, we have autumn here in Sweden and I just love getting outside. It's a bit cooler. You have to put a bit more layers on. You can breathe in the cold air. I cannot tell you how much I actually enjoy that after living in Singapore. So if you are enjoying like fresh air and even like dressing up a little bit, you know, having a nice winter coat on and going for a walk in the cold, I think Sweden could be really for you. And maybe something obvious as well, if you are familiar with Sweden a little bit, but if you have a family or you're planning to have a family, then Sweden could be a very good destination for you as well. Sweden is a society who really appreciates children. And of course you have the parental leave, which is one of the best, if not the best in the world, so that you basically can spend as much time with your children or with your babies, especially at the beginning as possible without really worrying about your financials. Especially recently, I see a lot of posts about the UK childcare on Instagram, for example, or from friends. 
And it's really devastating, like people trying to change the laws there because it's so expensive. You really have to choose between do you go to work or do you take care of your child? Because if you go to work, you pretty much spend all your income on childcare. Oh, and one thing I really love here as well about childcare and going to kindergarten is that the kids spend at least 50%, if not more, outside. So going back to, you know, Sweden is really about the outdoors. They spend a lot of time outside, even in winter. And I think that's a cool thing. So if you do have a family already or you're planning on having a family, then Sweden is a really great country too. So the next type of person might be a little bit an odd one, but it's not too far-fetched. If you are an introvert or you do like to spend a lot of time at home, then Sweden could be actually a really good country for you. And especially if you want to live quite remotely, there is lots of possibilities here in Sweden. You can buy a little cabin in the middle of nowhere and just live your quiet, calm life. And also Sweden has a little bit of a reputation that everyone keeps a little bit for themselves. So it might be a bit harder for super outgoing people or people who really like to socialize but, you know, don't want to take the first step, then maybe expecting that anyone comes to you and wants to be your friend is the wrong thing here to do in Sweden. But yeah, you can definitely also make friends by having kids, you know, or through your kids or having a hobby. But then again, if you're naturally already a person who likes to spend more time by themselves or within the family, then I think Sweden could also be a really good destination for you to live in. Of course, there are party animals here and people who love to socialize. I mean, I wouldn't say that people are not social here, definitely not. But I just read or hear a lot that people really have a hard time sometimes to find people you know, like-minded people or people they can just hang out with. Actually, just today, I talked to someone a little bit older, actually, not from Sweden, and it's harder to make friends. But I would say, in general, it's not that easy to make friends when you come to a new country. I think you have to find ways around it. But if you're a natural introvert, you should not have a problem too much. And again, it really doesn't mean if you're not an introvert or you don't like spending a lot of time at home, that Sweden is not for you. As I mentioned, there are lots of outgoing social people here as well. You just have to find your tribe. And then the last thing I would say for someone who wants to move here or at least long term, I would say you should be motivated to learn the language. And yes, I'm guilty myself. I have studied a little bit. I do understand quite a bit, I feel, especially living here for over a year. And my course starts actually on Monday. Yay, finally. But yeah, I think you will have just a better experience here in Sweden when you learn the language. And by no means it's easy, not even for me as a German. Yes, I understand a little bit more, but I've learned languages before as well. It is hard, you know, especially at my age. I'm not a five-year-old where it maybe is so much easier to learn a language. But yeah, I think if you are very willing to learn the language, then it might be easier to settle in and uh, be happier here in Sweden. So for the people who want to move to Sweden, what kind of person are you? And for the people who already live here, did I miss anything? Let me know in the comments down below. Thanks so much for watching till the end. I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you in my next video. Until then, have a great day and stay safe. Hey, though.